Fluffy Nerdigans. This is the one and only Packer Girl 89 of Nerdigans Inc. and anime and manga contributor to um, Bounding into Comics. And today's manga Nerdigan Live reaction video is going to be for Hajime no Ippo Chapter 1378. So before I get into this recap and live reaction, let me just remind you to hit that like, share, and subscribe buttons. And because, of course, this channel, let alone this video, are not sponsored and we're a one-woman operation struggling to keep a roof over our head at the moment. If you love what we're doing and want to help keep this channel alive and kicking so we can keep bringing you more anime and manga content, whether it be um, news, analysis, or live reactions like this one, feel free to hit up our Cash App and PayPal. Those links are in the description box below. So... Last chapter was so freaking exciting because we got to see a spar between um, Ippo and Takamura. And what made it really special was when we see everyone just like watching this in awe and just enjoying the rhythm that of um, the sound of the mitts uh, hitting, you know, um, hitting the pad and you know they're taking turns like switching off and of course <laughs> Takamura uh, got smoked by the gods because he ate one of the he ate some of the gods offerings before they went went to the gym but uh, Kamagawa it was up in his office and you saw him like enjoying the sound of the gloves pounding the mat and he's just doing the motions as well. And you got to wonder what's going to go down with Kamigawa. If he's going to do the intervention and um, if some, who's going to meet up with Ippo's mama. Because Ippo's mama is going to probably be the one to truly convince him to go back in the ring. Because remember why he left, why he retired. It was because he didn't want to worry mama. But God damn it. I can't wait. I am just... I'm just waiting for the day for that bitch to get exposed. Kumi, you are going when you go down, the day you go down is the day that the, that um that hell would well, for one hell would freeze over. But no, it'll be the day that I will just rejoice and celebrate and maybe even go buy a bottle of booze or something. <laughs> maybe I'll get an ice cream cake or something and have it on camera. I don't know, but I will be stoked. Anyways, let's get to this uh, chapter, see what's in store for us this week. Ooh, I forgot we are in America today. With their all important world title opportunities on the horizon, Volg and Wally are fighting? Yes, they are. Oh, wait, is that a plate? Ooh, there was something that went through the window. I feel like I should say, Opa! <laughs> Ooh, there's a shoe. Oh, God. It's a brawl going on. Oh, it wasn't a play. It was a shoe. <laughs> it was a shell. He threw a shell. <laughs> no. He thought, think it was a play. God damn it. It's early. Leave me alone. This chapter is titled, What's Guiding Him? Oh, he threw his freaking shoe. Dude, that broke the window. Shit, the owner is going to be pissed. Oh, yeah, I can fight you because you're barefoot. Didn't I tell you that you can't fight barefoot? <laughs> Calm down! What throwing a tantrum? Why are you two fighting in the first place? And here we th uh, thought some light uh, touch sparring would be okay. We take our eyes off them for a second and this happens? No matter what I do, Vol keeps saying no this, no that. Calm down, listen to his side. He's a world champion after all. Um, All of this is supposed to be for your learning benefit. Oh my god, this sounds... <sighs> You know what? I'm gonna say this. This sparring, this whole fight between Volga and Wally is exactly what's going on, on Twitter. <laughs> this is Twitter in a nutshell. <laughs> no way. He was talking, um, <gasps> no way. He was talking bad about you and Miguel. Um, criticized his trainer? No wonder he got pissed then. Let me ask you straight. What have you been, uh, Ooh, what have you even taught him up until now? He did a somersault into a punch. Dude, that's fucking awesome. I hit you. I hit you, did I? <laughs> um, it's a foul. And he also kept attacking me with his back turn as well as a backhand. He did a headstand, ran around on all fours, and every time he touched the mat with both uh, hands, these are all fouls. 
just frustrated because they all surprised you, you sore loser. <laughs> Dude, this is all straight up shit. This, this is Twitter. This is Facebook. This is social media, period. This <laughs> I wasn't losing, and what I'm frustrated about is something else entirely. Wait, no way. Ooh. <laughs> She's not in the squirrel. <laughs> Are you done cleaning up? If there's any glass on the ground, it could injure pedestrians. There are so many squirrels in New York. Sometimes you even see them downtown. They're cute, but everyone tells me they're dangerous. I'm not even allowed to touch them or feed them. Ooh, they're really fond of you. Damn. I wonder if you have some special um, ability to make animals like you. Squirrel boy. I, under I understand what's guiding you. Uh, you want to take a fighter rooted in freedom and push his strings to the absolute limits. However, if he's too wild, you know firsthand um, that even the most gifted geniuses can fail on their journey, don't you? Yeah. So I should put restrictions on his private life, his hobbies, his gifts? That's just not what I do. Then why isn't he fighting in... He should be fighting in MMA, not boxing, you dumbass. In the first place, our contract is nothing beyond me teaching him techniques and giving him strategies. A contract? Americans sure are business focused. I can't be D'Amato after all. <laughs> D'Amato was uh, Mike Tyson's trainer, by the way. I'm not the kind of mentor who can change his personality. All I could do is polish the raw material over and over and see how brightly it shines. But desire is the only thing that drives me. Put him in MMA, you moron! MMA is the stuff that he could do this in. Box Boxing is not for Wally. MMA it is. Or shit, put him in WWE! He'd be making a killing and he could have all the freedom he wants! God fucking damn, probably MMA would be better, but that's my opinion. Raw material. People like to evaluate boxers like works of art, masterpieces even. Such arrogance. You were just lucky enough to encounter the most beautiful of materials. Or at least that's what one man said. Um, that man truly is a sage. <laughs> I won't say that. I was lucky enough to encounter the most beautiful material, even though it was in my twilight. I have nothing I can give him besides boxing. You could give him MMA, you fucker! Like, come on! I told you I'm holding nothing back. I'm having no regrets. Well, live your life, bro. And that's why... Ricardo Martinez... Um... Oh. And that's why Ricardo... Dude, look at Ricardo Martinez. Look at him. Look at Ricardo right there. Look at him standing on this pedestal looking like a fucking god. But that background, background is everything, Morikawa. But goddamn. It's something so unthinkable you need to be aiming higher than maybe possible. So what are your chances? What do you think? That's the first time I've ever seen Volk this worked up outside of a match. I suspect he's feeling it as well. Going up against something that could be called a boxer's final stop, the ultimate form. So would this be like a Super Saiyan in boxer boxing form? Like the fuck nah, the boxing god. <laughs> but like come on! Based on what you're telling me with Wally and what we've seen with Wally, like he should just be, he should either go into wrestling, like WWE would be fucking amazing for him. Luchador would be amazing as well, but like, put Wally in, yeah, I feel like wrestling would be better than, um, than MMA, MMA would be so cool, but I think MMA would restrict his freedom in some ways too, but like, this ain't for him, if you have to restrict Wally's freedom of movement in some way, then that's just not for him. Like, am I the only one thinking this? Like, you're whining and bitching about this. But put him in a different, more, a different type of fighting that can allow him to really utilize his talent. If you're worried about restricting his talent and his and all that shit, put him in a different. Use him in a different um, genre of fighting that would actually fucking utilize his fighting and let Wally have fun in the process. Wrestle, uh, well, WWE wrestling would let him do that, but 
wrestling it to an extent is fake. So that's why I'm like, MMA would be fucking great for him. Because he can do all this crazy shit. I'll do all the crazy shit that he wants up in there. So I'm just like, I don't understand. Yeah, he'd be in a cage, but still. You, you get what I mean. But I'm really curious what you guys um, think of this chapter. This chapter kind of frustrates me, but I understand. But Ricardo is, up, is being set up on this pedestal. This is a pedestal that, remember when we saw Ricardo talking about this in his monologue? Um, and this was um, when we were in Mexico, when Sendo was at the undercard um, portion of the, uh, this fight in Mexico. He doesn't want to be put on this pedestal. He doesn't. He is just a man. He is not a fucking god. And you can understand why he gets pissed off about this. He doesn't he just want doesn't want to be treated like a goddamn god. I don't blame him. I'm curious what you guys and there's a break next week, by the way. What do you guys think of this chapter? Do you guys think that Wally should... Do you, do you guys think they're wasting Wally's talent like this? Especially based on what the writing is saying? Based on this writing, it really seems like Wally should just be going into MMA or wrestling. Or, or uh, Luchador would be so good for Wally. Oh my god, he'd have so much freedom. Or... Um, Hell, even Japanese wrestling wrestling would be good for him, too. There's just so much other shit he could be doing. He could be utilizing his freedom in terms of fighting. And I feel like... Here's where I feel like Wally and... Um, Wally is... You know what? I'm going to say this. Wally is Ricardo's polar opposite. And yes, we have a yin yang motif. Ha! We have some manga Illuminati here. Where Ricardo is, like, restricted. And he's held up on this pedestal. And you have a, a, this high expectation. And you have Wally, who has all this freedom. And this is something that Ricardo wants. He wants this freedom. And he can, and it'll just be very, it's going to be very, very interesting to see how Morikawa executes, especially the art for this fight. It'll be very interesting. I'm actually kind of looking forward to how this fight gets executed. I really am. I'm very curious what you guys think. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. And remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Nerdigans Inc. Love what I'm doing. I want to help keep this channel alive and kicking so I can keep bringing you more Hajime no Ippo content. A few ways you can do that. Donate to my cash app, PayPal, Patreon, purchase something off my Amazon wish to saw that's in the description box below. Also, make sure you follow me on Twitter, Twitch, Discord, friend me on PlayStation Network. That's in the description box below as well. Till next time, nerdigans, I will be seeing you later.